Hey Blasters, uh, today we're going to take a look at the suggestion board, which in case you didn't know, we have a suggestion board for Blaston and several of our other games like Demio or Ultimax. We use Canny basically because uh, it's a nice place for us to gather feedback from the communities and see what you guys would like to see in our games. They're not sponsoring this video, but that would be super nice if they wanted to. Let's take a look at some of the suggestions that have been sent in from the community regarding Blaston. All right, so this one has eight upvotes is from Debris Hauler saying, Arctic Blast should use all weapons in the game. Yeah, well, in the free to play update, we added a bunch of new loadouts to the Arctic Blast mode. So now it's a bit more fun because we've had a bit more of different choices. And I think some of the loadouts have attachments too. There's a lot more loadouts for you to play with right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not possible to like change them in between rounds. Maybe that will be something we can do someday, but uh, hopefully you'll like it. So this one has six upvotes from Nasmo saying better spectator experience. So uh, this is some really good piece of feedback. Uh, for the first one, showing health as a number. Um, this is something that has been explored in other esports games like Counter-Strike or things like this, where you have some uncertainty of maybe like when a bomb is going to explode or, so explode or something like that. What has been found in those communities is a lot of people ask for like timers of when you can defuse a bomb or when a, the bomb is supposed to go off and things like this. But when broadcasts have started to show those types of numbers, uh, it has actually killed a lot of the hype because you instantly know if something is going to succeed or fail and you don't get that moment of suspense. So um, it's one of those things that sounds nice in theory and I kind of like it in one way too. But when you actually execute on it, it's not really appreciated by a lot of people. As for the second point here, um, that's a good piece of feedback. Right now, the spectator takes all the data directly from the game because it's basically a different version of Blaston. Um, but if we could do that, that would be super nice if we can do that in a future update. So I guess we don't put this to done, but it's, you know, thank you for posting this. Next up, uh, this one has 18 upvotes from Baby Spine Gaming saying, make Blaston free to play. Well, I guess we settled that, didn't we? Baby Spine says this here too, but the game seriously needs more players, which is one of the main reasons why we made Blaston free to play. You know, we raised the price for Blaston last year, um, and we still believe that Blaston is a good value for what it is, but it is very important that a game like Blaston has players because it is the community that makes the game, and we would hate to see it go away. And that was the main components that when we felt that it was ready to become a free-to-play game with changing how the store looks like and all of these different things, we could make it free-to-play. And we finally got to that point, which led to the free-to-play update. So make Overlord bots more skilled, less cheap. So there's a couple of different things here, um, how the kind of bots work and how they've been implemented into the game. Um, obviously, it's very hard to make a bot that predicts how a player would move. Um, Usually they predict wrong in this case too, because they can't know what you're thinking. Um, and how the bot works in Blaston, we actually have a blog post about this uh, with uh, one of our developers explaining more in detail of how the Blaston bots work, but they basically try to scan out the area uh, and try to kind of position themselves accordingly. And previously the bots were very easy to kill because we tried to make them very realistic in the sense of how they move. Uh, but as players got better and better in Overlord, in the Overlord League, um, it was just more or less very easy to kind of take them down. Now, what we did is that we basically upped their skill of positioning to kind of counteract this. Um, there is a weakness for every bot though. So if you find that, the, you will have a bit of an easier time to take them down. Next one has five upvotes, it's by Captain Fabulous, and it says, delete lasers from the game. What we do when we try to kind of do these different loadouts for Blaston is that we try to make different types of weapons that encourage different types of gameplay and trying to kind of be creative in that way. Uh, the lance weapons or the lasers uh, were one way to kind of see how we could work with area denial in the game. As Blaston has uh, continued to develop into a more fast-paced game, this has been a big a challenge to kind of see how we can 
continue to work with the lance weapons. That's why in the free-to-play update now and how we kind of changed in inverse kinematics, like how the movement system works in the game, we did kind of dial them back a bit because we didn't want to, you know, have people just be deleted if someone else uses the lance weapons. But it is, it is a good feedback. It's a very tricky challenge to work with, so obviously we won't delete a weapon from the game like this unless uh, it's completely broken or we have found another way to kind of work with them. But uh, I thank you still for the feedback. Improve the loadout area. So these are all really good feedback points. Um, in the last update, we did change like how the menu is more to the left. So it's easier for you to do the ellipse kind of curves on the left side. It is not impossible for us to make. It's just been the case that we have been prioritizing other different things um, besides this. I do hope that we get to a point in time where we can take a another look at the kind of loadout area and how you can practice with the dummy though. But uh, that will probably be later down the line, if anything. Next up, uh, it's a pretty new one. It just got added recently when recording this, but it's, uh, it's from new user who says, skins in Oso. I know this has been a thing for a while, but it would be cool to see every unique skin in the Oso. And this is actually was something that we have added now with a patch. Uh, so that'll be something you'll be seeing more in the Oso. Basically, it's been in the game like this because it's been a bug that has been hard for us to fix. Uh, and it's been a concern of like, Basically, the new avatars look pretty good and it's a bit, a, bit, a bit heavy for the game, but we'll try to kind of work around this. And I think we have something that should be nice now when everything can be shown properly. So I'll put this one to done. So thank you for sending that in. Reduce or eliminate weapon attachment tracking requirements. I do want to say like, this is really good feedback and this is the type of stuff that we want to see from a community because it makes it easier for us to kind of understand the gripes that you're dealing with and for us to see where we can uh, help you guys in solving some things. One thing that we introduced into Blaston was tracking weapons to unlock them and tracking weapons to kind of unlock attachments. And the point of that was to keep players engaged so they would have some type of progression besides the rank in the game, uh, which has worked out pretty well when we have looked at the numbers, but we obviously don't want to put players in a situation where um, they get too frustrated with the game and they don't want to play it because it takes too long to unlock something. But it's a tough thing to balance, but I hope that we get into a better spot than we are now and hopefully you will be more Happy with that in a future update if that comes to fruition. Blast on for Pico. Well, uh, you got your wish. Uh, so in early 2023, we're going to be launching Blast on for Pico, both three and four devices. Um, I also agree that uh, the Pico 4 device is an interesting one for Blast on in the case that it's more of a fitness kind of oriented headset. So it would be really nice to see players. Um, being on different types of platforms now when we have three platforms coming in uh, when we have more information on the release of that we'll keep you posted so i'll put this one to done thank you all right so this one is from Wezo. uh it has three upvotes currently and it's a spectator client overhaul so a few things here um basically the blast on spectator when it was created it was um really used for internal purposes for testing the game. Once we kind of started doing more tournament type stuff for Blast On, especially with the Val Summer Games um, some year back now, uh, we wanted to kind of display the game. So we converted this internal testing tool into this broadcasting spectator client that we have today, which has some challenges. Uh, some things are not really built for these types of things, but we have tried to make the best of the situation. In the last update, we did add free cam mode, so you have that. It's uh, It could have some improvements, but it's still there, you know? Zoom, every time you watch, uh, yeah, a zooming feature. Yeah, that could be something we can look at for a future update, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure how difficult that could be, but that's an interesting uh, suggestion. And presets for cameras. Uh, yeah, that's also a different, I mean, right now in the Spectator, client you basically do have presets in where the camera is located so it is kind of there but i understand that you want to create your own presets and like move between them it could potentially be something we can take a look at in the future i hope we get to that at that point as for showing time left on weapon spawning and these types of things like ammo and things like this we actually tried to implement this into the game but due to how the game is basically sending this information to a server and back and forth I'm not gonna bore you with the technical details, but we tried to implement this and we couldn't really do it. Um, 
I hope we can find some way to do it in the future, but right now it's unfortunately looking very difficult. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the new additions that we put into the spectator mode so far. Uh, and thank you for sending this in. More balance only release. So this is uh, a good kind of feedback because there's a lot of things that we can talk about here. Uh, in the beginning, when we started working on Blaston after the release of it, uh, there were a few updates that included only or we're focused more only on uh, adding a weapon and then balancing the game already as it was. Uh, of course, adding a weapon changed the meta a few times, like the Nova Helix, but it also allowed us for doing these kind of balance updates that were smaller. Uh, what we saw when we did these types of updates was that it didn't really improve... Um, it didn't really capture people to kind of get to play the game more. Like, sure, it was really nice for the people that were already into the game, but it didn't really get new players into the game. And so um, releasing an update is might sound like an easy task to do, but it requires kind of a lot of resources to actually implement and push these updates to be live. Uh, so what we shifted to after a few of these types of updates is that we had these more themed updates where we could um, kind of group things together, uh, but that also had the... I guess the con of them being not as close together. Uh, now, of course, things are changing with the game becoming free to play, so I don't know what the future holds, but uh, that's basically the summary of it, is that um, doing these kind of smaller updates require more resources than you would imagine, uh, unfortunately, and it doesn't bring in too many new players, but it's a really good thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll just see what happens, but I really appreciate this. It's, uh, it's a good take from, you know, a community member like yourself. Uh, hopefully we can work on some more balancing moving forward. Spectator client camera transition speed. Done. Next one is from Drew Condon with six upvotes saying, make the game slower paced again. This is a really good piece of feedback because it's something that um, I think every game struggles with as uh, people get more and more better at the game. Blaston in its infancy when it got launched it was a way more slow paced game than it is today. Uh, partially because um, people weren't really used to this type of game but also because there were less options of uh, slower kind of weapons, uh, maybe longer cooldowns and things like this. As time progressed uh, players kind of found ways to abuse these types of things and we started adding new options and a lot more kind of weapons like the Luma which was really fast paced now until we kind of uh, balanced that a bit. One of the things that we did now with the la latest update is this movement change with the in inverse kinematic which uh, makes the avatars move accordingly to your movements more which doesn't sound like a lot of change but it basically makes it so that you really can't do these like really fast dodges like you could in the past and with this update we'll probably see a lot of parts of the balancing and the meta kind of affect that uh, how people are now starting to move in a different way and for us to kind of adapt to that so <laughs> basic summary is that yes this is a big challenge uh, and I hope that we can work with this uh, better in the in the future don't want to stress people out too much so uh, I'm not sure I don't think we can put this into done but I'm really happy that you sent this in so thank you for that nerf hurricane one attachment 14 damage is too much for a single cheese ball orb so that's actually exactly something that we changed in the latest update uh, this has been nerfed to 10 points of damage instead uh, which uh, should fix this problem so I guess I can put this to done all right, so that was pretty much it for today. Uh, there's a lot more different suggestions here and we could have gone for lengths of like all of these that are included. Uh, we really appreciate you sending these in. So if you do have any ideas of how to make Blaston better, please visit our Canny page and send in your uh, suggestion. You can share those in our Discord too so that you can get some more upvotes so that it can be kind of brought to the top of uh, the list here. There's a lot of suggestions here that we weren't able to kind of bring up today. They require, I guess, more work than we can anticipate, but uh, maybe we can do this more again in the future. But yeah, so that's it. So uh, remember to never stay still and I'll see you next time.